everyone happy monday so today is the first day like official day of doing my online classes so i kind of wanted to show a what a day in the life looks like when i do have online class and i wanted to show um just like how i keep a routine um even when i'm doing things from home um because i think it helps a lot to still like stick to a schedule um so yeah i have my normal class times we meet online on video chat i know everywhere is different in how they do it um but so as you saw i got up this morning at eight um i still think it's important to like set your alarm get up early um, I made my matcha, of course, then I had a little smoothie, and then I did an at-home workout. I did Sculpt Society. I did a 50-minute full body, and that was really good to get a sweat session in before I start class. So then afterwards, I washed my face, got ready, came downstairs, made a little breakfast, and now I'm here set up on my computer at my dining room table and i'm about to join my statistics class um so yeah that is what's going on for now and then i have that for like 45 minutes and then i have a little break and then i have my comp class um and then in between i've been working on my blog and stuff but um, that's kind of what I do um, in the morning to get ready so that it's easier to sit. Um, I definitely think you should work out before. And then I usually, I'm going to take a walk this afternoon um, when classes are done just to release a little bit of energy and yeah. So that's what's going on right now. I will check in with you all in a little bit. done with my classes for the day and now I am in the kitchen where I always am and I am currently making some brownies I'm making Rachel Mansfield's um, flourless brownies I'm trying them out I haven't tried them before but I'm sure they'll be delicious because all her stuff is um so yeah this is what the recipe looks like on her blog if it'll focus for me there we go so yeah it's just I'm subbing the tahini with almond flour so that's what's going on and it's really I just got more of my seed probiotics in the mail. I've talked about these before, but they are definitely the best. Um, and especially this time of year, I can't recommend enough to everybody to be taking a probiotic right now. Um, I also, if you can't get your hands on probiotics, um, what I would recommend doing is loading up on probiotic rich foods. So there's a lot of foods that are naturally rich in probiotics. Um, yogurt is a great one. Definitely um, full fat Greek yogurt if you're not dairy free. And if you are dairy free, then a lot of good coconut yogurts 
have probiotics in them. Um, some of my favorites are Coco June. Um, GTs makes a really great one. Speaking of GTs, kombucha is a really good thing you can have. The time probiotics, um, sourdough bread is a really good source. Grapes actually have a lot of pre and probiotics in them. Um, so yeah, those are some sources that you can load up on, but definitely your gut health is makes up for 90% of your total body health. So if you do anything right now, work on your gut health. Um, but yeah, they just ship in these biodegradable packages, which is really nice. And when you order the first time, you get like a glass jar and then you have that jar for when you get your refill bags. Um, so they're just come in this sleeve right here um, and then you just dump them out but this is what they look like I mean don't let the size scare you they're like, kind of big but you just take two on an empty stomach every morning so I keep a glass of water by my bed take two as soon as I wake up and then wait like 30 minutes before you eat anything so that they can like digest and um, integrate themselves into your gut so yeah i'm gonna put the brownies into the oven right now and they go in for like 20 minutes i think okay so the brownies are just out of the oven and i wanted to show them to you they smell amazing so i think they worked because just based off how they smell I think they're gonna taste really good. Here they are. They look really, really chocolatey and delicious. So I'm excited about those. And yeah, also one other thing I wanted to talk about really quick was, is if you're staying at home, working from home, I find, and I've been guilty of this today, that when you have shorter glasses filled with water, you don't drink as much throughout the day. So either filling up like your big hydro flask, or I have these like big glass mason jars that I love drinking water out of these um, throughout the day and like drinking out of a straw will really help you make sure you're drinking enough because I'll only have like a couple glasses for some reason. I feel like when I drink little ones, or you constantly have to be refilling them, um, which isn't a bad thing because it makes you get up and not sit too long. But yeah, just a little tip. But I'm gonna wait for these to cool before I have one. I'll let you know how they are. <laughs> okay, brownie update. They're amazing. Definitely make them. Rachel Mansfield's healthy flourless brownies so yum hello everybody so I thought I would share a quick update on my room renovation project I started so I think this is a great time to work on any projects around your house whether it's like just organizing your pantry or stripping a whole wall of wallpaper and painting it and making a new office space it can be really big or really small it could even just be like going through your dresser drawers decluttering refolding stuff that needs to be refolded stuff like that so i have had this space in my room like empty and needing a space for a desk for a while now and now that I'm doing online classes, I want to have a space where I can set up my laptop and really get some work done and just have my own like little inspiration corner. So I wanted to document my process of working on that because I just think it'd be interesting to show you. Um, I ordered my desk from Walmart actually. I found a nice like white desk for 50 bucks. So it's coming on Wednesday and today's Monday. So I'll show you when it gets here, but we finished getting everything off the wall and getting it prepped. Tomorrow we're gonna prime it and then paint it after the primer drives. So it'll probably be painted on Wednesday, but I picked a really pretty pale pink color um that i think you will like i'm still waiting to find a chair i found one on ikea but of course it was sold out so 
I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about the chair yet. But this is the wall. And I really want to get a new carpet too. I might just rip this one up. But it's a pretty like big size space. And I love that it's right by the window too. So that is where it's all going. I think I'm gonna put like a mirror there on one side of the desk, like a floor length leaning mirror and then the desk. And yeah, there's Molly coming to check out the space. Um, but that is kind of what is going on. Obviously I need to fix the rest of the wallpaper in here. Um, that's just gonna be a process of taking down 19 years worth of wallpaper and stuff like that. So this is my moisturizer that I love and have been using after it was recommended to me at Heyday when I got a facial. Um, the brand is Eminence and it's their probiotic moisturizer. I love it, so that's what I've been using lately. Just a little product recommendation thrown in there. I use it twice a day. Hello, everybody. Happy third, no, Wednesday. I have lost track of the days, as you can tell. Um, I finally decided to get dressed normally today, so I'm just wearing pink sweater jeans. I'm standing on the tarp that is covering the floor because my wall is getting painted either this afternoon or tomorrow, I'm not sure, but I just made an afternoon matcha. It's my second one of the day because I needed it. The weather is very rainy outside and just kind of gross, and I need a little afternoon pick-me-up to keep me going for the day, so that's what's going on. Um, not gonna lie, having, I don't know, just having a little bit of a rough day today. Um, my birthday is tomorrow and it's definitely not the birthday I had envisioned this year, um, but that's okay. I'm going to make the best of it and yeah, um, but I didn't really, I did a little bit of like glute and like ab work today, but, and I went on a walk with my dog, but not much of a workout either. I'm just really not feeling it and that's okay. So, um, yeah, I feel like. With the whole work from home thing being stuck inside like you kind of forget to take a rest day but like you can still take a rest day from your workouts like i've worked out every day since i've been home so that's like 13 days <laughs> so i think it's okay um but yeah so that's what's going on today um not really anything exciting but this mug is from a store called be just in charlottesville i think i've mentioned that before and i love it so Makes me happy. I'm gonna put on some sweatpants though because these jeans are, they're okay. They're not the most comfortable, but I will talk to you all later.